Steve Kelly, despite the late hour and several temporary delays this morning, hundreds gathered here at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center and crowds cheered as Artemis left the launch pad. Officials estimate 700 people gathered in the Space and Rocket Center to watch NASA's official live broadcast on a 34.5 foot screen. Huntsville has a long history with NASA and many locals contributed to the development of the SLS rocket. Spectators from all over the world were in Huntsville today celebrating North Alabama's ties to the space program with the launch of Artemis 1. All my childhood I uh, was dreaming with something like this moment. I didn't expect that the Artemis one would have been like delayed so much. So when I said uh, it's going to it's going to be there when we go there we have to go we have to see there. I, I've never been outside of my country for any like special um, rocket or space party. So it was very exciting. It's kind of my first space party. The Artemis 1 mission is a test flight sending an empty crew capsule into lunar orbit. The goal of the mission is to prove that Orion systems are safe before flight crews are launched as a part of the Artemis 2 missions. The flight is set to last 25 days from liftoff to splashdown and when the spacecraft returns to Earth, it will have traveled 1.3 million miles. News 19 will continue to follow the progress of the mission and bring you updates as they become available. Live at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, Kayla Smith, News 19.